Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So given a triangle that has the ver vertices A negative four, zero, B five, negative four, and then C two and seven, we have to find the equation of the altitude from vertex B. Now, because this is our first video dealing with altitude, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what the altitude is and what its uses are before actually finding the equation. So. Let's say just in general, we have a triangle, A, B, C, like in this case, and we're finding the altitude from vertex B. Now what the altitude is, is basically the line from the vertex to the opposite side, which in this case is A, C, where the line is perpendicular to that opposite side, right? So this side, this line here, AC, and then this line, the altitude, make a 90 degree angle with each other. That's what the altitude is. And in this particular case, because of the way I drew the triangle, it kind of looks like the median. This here is not necessarily the midpoint. From the, from the vertex to the opposite midpoint, that's gonna be the median, okay? But a lot of times this point here where the altitude and the opposite side intersect is not going to be the, um, the midpoint, okay? It's just because of the triangle I drew. So let's draw another triangle. Let's say I have a triangle like that. So we got A, B, C, if we're finding the altitude from vertex B, well, the median would go somewhere to here, right? The midpoint between A and C, but the altitude would actually just go like straight down because this has to be 90 degrees like that. Another common kind of confusing scenario is if you have a triangle let's say like that, so we got A, B, C. And a triangle like this, if you're finding the altitude, notice that if we draw a line from vertex B to anywhere on this opposite side, it's impossible for that line to have a right angle with the side AC, right? No matter where we connect it to. So what would happen in this case is you actually extend this side like that, and then the altitude ends up being this right here. Okay, so even though it's not connecting with that side AC, you kind of just extend the side until you can draw a line that is perpendicular to that extended side, right? So in all of these scenarios, that's what the altitude is. And the biggest use of the altitude is actually finding the height of the triangle. And then you can use the height usually to find the area. Area equals base times height. So for example, here, here, this would be the height. You could find it by finding this point of intersection between the altitude and the opposite side, and then find the distance between these two points. That would be the height. Then the distance between these two points would be the base. Base times height divided by two. Base times height divided by two base times height divided by two. So that's the biggest use of the altitude. It's usually, deter it's usually used to determine the area. And we're actually gonna do an example in the future where we have to do that. In this particular question, we're just gonna be finding the equation of this line over here. Right, so just a couple of different scenarios that can come up with altitude. Now, question is, what are the steps to finding the altitude. Well, if we use this particular triangle over here, notice that we gotta find the equation of this line. It's gonna be in y equals mx plus b form. Well, we already have a point on the line, so we just need the slope. And then once we have a slope and a point, we can find the equation. So how do we find the slope? Well, first, the first step would be to find the slope of AC, of that opposite side, 
over here. Then once we have that slope, we would find the perpendicular slope of AC, which would be the negative reciprocal of the slope from number one. And then we have the, um, the slope and a point. So then we can find the equation using the perpendicular slope and vertex B. And these general steps here, depending on the triangle you're given, you can adjust them for different letters. Just whatever letters you put, make sure that they're going in order if you go either clockwise or counterclockwise. And a lot of times it may not be from vertex B that you're finding the altitude from. Let's say you're finding the altitude from vertex C, well then here you would adjust, you'd have to find the slope of AB, which would be the opposite side of C, then you find the perpendicular slope, then you would use that perpendicular slope and vertex C to find the equation. Okay, so adjust these general steps accordingly with whatever scenario you're working with. So in this particular scenario, let's label the points. So we've got negative four and zero, we've got five, negative four, and then we got two and seven. Now this here is not to scale on a Cartesian plane. So notice like five, negative four would actually be below negative four and zero and two and seven, it'd be down here somewhere. But I'm just kind of using this rough drawing to give us a nice visual of what we're doing. Right? And if you're not required to graph, I recommend usually making a rough drawing like this, even if it's not to scale on the Cartesian plane, it still helps you see what is happening. But if you are required to graph this scenario out, then make sure that you're graphing the proper points on the Cartesian plane. So let's go through the steps. So we got to find the slope of AC. So number one, the slope of AC, that's going to be what? Rise over run. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's label these. We'll label this X1, Y1. We can label this X2, Y2. So we would have 7 minus 0 over X2, 2 minus negative 4. Just be careful here. Put that in brackets like that. So this would end up being 7. 7 minus 0 is 7, then 2 minus negative 4 is like 2 plus 4, which would give us 6, right? So that would be, 7 over 6 would be the slope of this side of this line, AC. Step 2, we want to find the perpendicular slope to this, which would just be the negative reciprocal. So we flip it, which would be... 6 over 7, and then we change the sign. This is a positive, so this would end up being a negative. And now that we have the slope, so let me write it over here. Step 3, we got the slope we're working with, which is negative 6 over 7. And then we have a coordinate that the altitude is going through, which is 5, negative 4 right, vertex B. And now we just have to find the equation of a line with this slope and this point. So we could start off plugging in the slope like that. And then we have to solve for this B value. We could plug in negative four for Y. We could plug in five for X. And we would end up with negative 4 equals, this 5 is like over 1, 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 over 7 plus b, like that. And then we want to bring this over, and then this negative 4 is like over 1, so we want to get a common denominator there because we're going to end up uh, adding the fraction. So we'd multiply this by 7, multiply this by 7, so we'd end up with negative 28 over 7, when we bring this over, it becomes a positive. And then the B value is by itself on the right side. And then what's negative 28 plus 30? Positive 2. So 2 over 7 is the B value. And so the final equation, we plug in that B value here. 
is just going to end up being y equals negative 6 over 7x plus 2 over 7, like that. Right, so that ends up being the equation of the altitude following those steps. This is in y equals mx plus b form. If you want to change it to standard form, just in case maybe the solution is given in standard form, so we'd have y equals negative 6 over 7x plus 2 over 7. Well, we want to get rid of the fractions. So 1, 7, 7, lowest common denominator is 7 between all of those. So we can multiply this by 7, multiply this by 7, multiply this by 7. 1 goes into 7, 7 times. 7 times y is just 7y. These 7s cancel out. We're left with a negative 6x. These 7s cancel out. We're left with a 2. And then you want to bring everything to one side where the coefficient in front of the x is going to be positive. So let's bring everything to the left. So we'd have 6x plus 7y, right? This is still positive. And then this 2 becomes a negative, All right? So that's another format you might see the solutions in, All right? So whether it's this or this, both of them are the same line. Both of them are the equation of the altitude.